Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is our first lesson in our series Sarf for Beginners. The purpose of this introductory series is to answer some questions inshallah through which we will then be able to access um, classical texts that have been authored concerning this subject of Ilm Sarf. The first question we want to answer is what does sarf focus on? We know that in the Arabic language every single word can be categorized into one of these three categories. No word in the Arabic language goes outside of one of these categories. The ism, the fi'l and the harf. As for the ism, then a word that is considered an ism will be a one of two, either mabni or mara. <coughs> And if a word is considered a fi'l, then it will be one of two, mutasarrif or jamid. And if it is a harf, then it will be a harf ma'na. Now, in ilm al-sarf, what we focus on is al-fi'l, al-mutasarrif, and al-ism, al-mu'rab. In sarf, we do not focus on the mabni. We do not focus on the jamid and we do not focus on the harf ma'na. We only focus on the ism ma'rab and the fi'l al-mutasarrif. What is meant by al-fi'l al-mutasarrif? It is the fi'l that can be conjugated into different structures and forms. For example, dharaba. I can conjugate that to bring out the present form of yadrib and the imperative form of from the mubada. I can bring out the, the imperative form of yadrib. And also I can bring out the ism fa'il which is the noun that denotes the person who did the action. For example, ظالبون, or the one, the noun that denotes the person whom the action was done upon. The ism مفعول, مضروب, إلى آخره. So, علم الصرف focuses on الفعل المتصرف and الاسم المعرب. طيب, as for الفعل الجامد, like نعمة, and بئسة, and ليسة, and so on, these verbs can't be conjugated. Like you can't say, you can't, like with ضربة, we said يضرب, 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 ضارب, مضروب, لا تضرب. Right, you can't do that for laysa and ni'ma and bi'isa ayy al-af'al al-jamida. Good. So that's the first question. If someone asks you, what does ilm al-sarf focus on? It focuses on al-fi'l al-mutasarrif and al-ism al-mu'rab. The second question is, how do we define sarf from a terminological perspective? Now we know sarf linguistically refers to al-taghir or al-tahweel, to morph or to change. And from it comes from the classic money exchange services that we have. When you go to someone who exchanges you money, uh, method of pounds for dollars, euro for lira or whatever, you call them a sarraf. Even in our language, our mother tongue, what do we say? Go to the sarif place, right? The place where they exchange money. Tayyip. So sarf, linguistically, is referring to a change or a moving. From a terminological or an istilahi perspective, we generally look at it from two angles. Sarf, there's a theory behind it and there's a practical application of it. The theory is to learn these qawaid ilmun bi usulin tu'rafu biha ahwal wa abniyat al kalim allati laysat bi arab wa la bina. It is a science through which you learn principles and qawaid. Through these principles and qawaid, you'll be able to understand and know the structures of words. Now, this is also known in Nahu, same definition for Nahu. So you have to differentiate it from Ilmun Nahu by coming with the by saying But when we discuss structures of words, we don't look at it from the angle of Arab or bina, i.e. grammatical analysis, whether it be a fixed state or a variable state, i.e. variable between Rafa, Nasr, Jar, Jazm, whatever. Whereas Mabini would be what fixed upon one state. Like Haula is is Mabini. And as Zaid, Ja'a Zaidun, Qaratu bi Zaidin, Raitu Zaidin. That change is discussed in Ilm and Nahu. It's not discussed here in Ilm Asar. Tayyib. Marartu biha ulai. Raitu ha ulai. Jaa ha ulai. Yes, there's a change here in terms of in one case it's majroor, in one case it's fi mahali jar, one case it's fi mahali nas, one case it's fi mahali rafa. Tayyib. But that's not what's discussed in Ilm Asar. That's not the change that we're discussing. That's why we have to mention Ilmun bi uswad in tu'raf biha ahwal wa abniyati al kalimi lati laysat bi ahwal wa labina. But that is a definition on a theoretical level. But the more famous definition is that which we look at the practical application. 
ثمرة علم الصرف جدا فعندك ان ابلكيشن اوف ات اند ذات از تو سي ذا ديفينيشن العملي التعريف العملي از تحويل الاصل الواحد تحويل الاصل الواحد الى امثله مختلفه لمعان مقصوره لا تحصل الا بها it is the conversion of the changing or the morphing of a single base root into different forms and structures and these forms and structures have specific meanings that we can't achieve that we can't achieve or intended meanings that we can't achieve except through this conversion except through this uh, change مثلا i have the word rajul rajul is a singular i want to dualize it i have to change it to what rajulan I want to pluralize Rajul, Rijal. Now the intended meaning is to pluralize Rajul, to say men. In order for me to achieve that, I have to change this base root, Tahwilu al asl wahid this single base root, I have to change it, to bring out a, a new form, a separate form, with a specific intended meaning, that I cannot achieve said meaning without this change. That's what essentially the practical application of Ilm al-Sarf is. Mathalan I said Dharaba, Dharaba is the past tense of Yeah, basically, he hit. But then I want to convert that into the present form. So I say, يضرب. I also want to convert that to the imperative form. يضرب. Hit. I want to convert that to denote the one who has been hit. So I say what? مضروب. Or the one who did the hitting. ضارب. فهو ضارب. وذاك مضروب. طيب. These are again what? تحويلات. There are changes that have taken place. طيب. So the definition of علم الصرف from an عملي perspective is what? تحويل الأصل الواحد. إلى أمثلة مختلفة لمعان مقصودة لا تحصل إلا بها. That's how you answer the question. How do we define صرف terminologically? The third and final lesson, uh, the third and final question in this lesson, inshallah, is what are the types of conjugations? What are the types of تصاريف? The تصاريف are of two types: مختلف and مضطرد. مختلف is the example we gave with regards to ضربة. I have ضربة, and I want to convert it to the present form, the imperative form, the uh, active participle form, the passive participle form, ismu I want to convert it to the ismu al the ismu zaman il Different forms, amthila mukhtalifa, dharaba, yadribu, dharman, which is the masdar, maf'ul mutlaq, dharaba, yadribu, mathalan, dharibun, madrubun, il akhirihi, yadribu. This is what? Different forms and structures. Now within each form, whether it be the mali form, the mudari form, the amr form, I can convert that form individually into what? Masculine, singular, feminine, singular, masculine, dual, feminine, dual, masculine, plural. And we call that what? Tasrifun muttarid. So we have the general form of tasrif, which is what? Mukhtarif, the mali into the mudari, in, from the mudari into the amr, into the ism fa'il, into the ism maf'ul, and so on. And then within each one, within the Maldi by itself, the, the Maldi by the Mubarak by itself, you zoom in and you can also come to the conclusion of I can also conjugate this specific Mubarak into the masculine singular form, the masculine uh, uh, dual form, the masculine plural form, the feminine singular form, the feminine dual form, the feminine plural form. Right? Good. And also, I can also convert it in terms of. Yani, uh, first person, second person, and third person. So, مثلا, first person is masculine singular, second person masculine singular, third person masculine singular. And we'll touch upon that in detail later. But those detailed uh, conjugations within one form is considered what? تصريف المطرد. And the conjugations that go from one form to another form, we call it what? تصريف مختلف. So, ضرب يضرب يضرب ضارب مضروب إلى آخره is what? تصريف مختلف. ضرب which is he hit. Dharabta, you hit. Dharabtu, I hit. Dharabti, uh, uh, you female hit. Right? Dharabtuma, you two masculine or feminine hit. Dharaba, they hit. Dharabata, they two females hit. Right? So Dharaba, a different name, they masculine two hit. Right? Dharabata, they two feminine hit. Dharabna, they as a, fem- uh, as, a fem- uh, as a feminine group hit. Right? Dharabu, they masculine plural hit third person. Right, ضربتم, you second person masculine uh, plural, right? ضربتنا, which is you second person feminine plural. So you see, we have this one word ضربة, which is the fail ماضي, right? ضربة, the fail ماضي. So we took this one specific form, this form here, and we made it into different conjugations based on what masculinity, femininity, first person, second person, third person, and duality and plurality and singularity. طيب. I can do it the same for يضرب. 
I can do the same for idrib. I can do the same for dharib. I can do the same for madhrub. طيب. So we have different forms. Conjugating from one to the next is tasrif muhtarif. Within each form, conjugation is based on masculinity, femininity, first, second, third person, duality, singularity, uh, plurality. That's considered what? تصريف مضطرد. طيب هذا الله أعلم وصلب بإذن الله سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته